I'm 85, and that's old enough. I was diagnosed with it, I think, two years ago. Neuromuscular disease, degenerative and progressive, and there's no cure. It was August the 28th when I broke, had my fall, which broke my shoulder, which, and I went to Queensway Carlton. That's when we realized I couldn't yeah. stay on my own anymore. Before that, I would had been having PSW coming in every day to get me dressed. Okay. The progression was quite quick because two years yes. ago my mother was driving a car and doing yeah. shopping. Yeah. And about two years in June, right? You yes. sold the car to Ed or gave it to Ed? Gave it so to she Ed. She was driving her car, you know, quite independent. It's yeah. something I felt I had to do because I was the one living it and I wasn't going to live like some of those people in Starwood, poor creatures, who don't have the, their intellect left at all. Apparently, I'm the highest functioning cognitive person in Starwood right now, which doesn't say very much because I've lost <laughs> She didn't discuss it with me, you know, it was uh, her decision and yeah. I respect that and uh, I support it. Yeah. You know, uh, quality of life is more important than quantity. I hope I have the guts to be able to say, you know, I think if I get to that situation that I'm going to be able to say, you know, I'd like to do uh, you know, medical assistance in dying. I'll miss living, but as I'm not living as I want to live, you know, there's nothing left to miss. I mean, memories come of where I am at different places and different parts. I mean, one minute I'm in Tibet and looking over the Himalayas and laughing over a particularly funny thing, which I can't even tell you. <laughs> I've told William, well, I will tell you, but I was, I'm going to laugh so hard. We were <laughs> up in the Himalayas and we, we cried a washwoman. There was nothing there, of course, on this huge, long road up in the hills. So there were about 12 women in the bus and the, and the guide found a building which was desolate. So he put, he said, you can go in there. And we went in there and we said, no, we won't. It was revolting. So then what we did, we all went out and sat beside, behind the building in a row, overlooking the Himalayas. <laughs> and everybody else was looking straight ahead and just pretending there. And I, at the end, was looking down at them all and laughing and laughing. One of the things you told me that you were proudest about was just the way the kids have kids have turned out, eh? Yes, I'm very proud of that because I feel they didn't get as much help as they should have done, but they've done pretty well. Yeah, I think we got all the help we needed, Bob. It's pretty... Well, that's I good. I don't think we needed any. You know, just spend more time with her while she's here and do things with her, you know, uh, that's more our style. August the 7th, it's a bank holiday. So I thought, well, my kids won't be working if they want to be present, and I would like them there if they want to be. Yeah. But not if they don't. You know, it's up to them.